watching Virginia This Morning, live from the Richmond Home and Garden Show, presented by Woodfin. This segment is sponsored by the Richmond Home and Garden Show, presented by Woodfin. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Got to get in. We're at the Richmond Raceway Complex at the Richmond Home and Garden Show presented by Woodfin. I'm Bill Bevins. And I'm Jessica Nall. It's great to see you on this Friday morning. We are ready for a madcap weekend. Does that <laughs> seem right? <laughs> yes. Madcap. Little madcap. Yeah. It all starts here. The fun starts here at 11. We have Jason Oliver Nixon and John Lucky with Madcap Cottage out of High Point, North Carolina with us this Celebrities are here. Celebrities in the house. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's good to see both of you. Thank you. We're thrilled to be here in Richmond. We visit a Lot and we love your town. We love going to the museum. There's so many great restaurants, and there's no better time to come out and refresh your home than the right. Richmond Home and Garden Show. Absolutely. Yeah. Isn't it astounding how much is here as you walk through just to see everything that's available? Yeah, I mean, we're in the business and we walking around, we're yeah. learning and seeing. Right, we always find new things, and you know, just seeing even these show gardens and what you can do with your landscaping. And it is spring, so it's time to start thinking about those things. It sure is. Yeah. You're, it's called Madcap Cottage. Uh, and obviously you guys bring a, uh, an attitude to decorating. Do you, when you meet your customers or prospective customers, do you kind of present your view or do you listen to their view or is it a combination of both? No, Bill, great question. We are not bringing our brand to life, we're bringing your brand to life. And so it's that idea of how can we get inside your head? We're former journalists. We came from New York and we were editing magazines. So we really plumb our, you know, our clients mindsets and really figure out how to bring their brand. We just had a full page in the Wall Street Journal last week about an apartment that we designed in Manhattan that was very much this kind of art deco and that was how we, we really drilled down on our client. But I think what we're going to be showing this weekend is lots of tips and tricks to show you how to bring your personal story to life. Right, and I think it's about we're here to push your boundaries. So we're here to encourage you to try something that maybe you were on the fence about and weren't kind of sure if you should take the risk and we're here to help you go that extra mile and take the risk. But also have some, have some fun. I mean, the interior design right. and, and products and home renovation should not be, you know, you shouldn't overanalyze it. Right. Yeah. Especially the decorating part of it. It should be fun. And in your home at the end of the day should really put a smile on your face. And that's kind of our big belief in the home design space. And that's why we do, you know, we use a lot of bright color. We use a lot of pattern. We use a lot of things that just kind of make you happy. Let's take it back to basics, because there are a lot of friends watching right now who are saying, oh, I'm developing my own personal brand for the home, right? <laughs> right? How do you take that first step? I mean, we all know there are things that we gravitate toward, sure. but what's your recommendation to even like wrap your arms around maybe starting to define your own yeah, brand and question. look? I think, you know, shop your closet. Right. Dig through your closet and see what colors you like. Do you like great prints, mm -hmm. you have great earrings? What makes you happy? And so if, you're, if, you, if you find there are lots of blues or greens in your space, that's a, that's a the color that makes you comfortable. So bring that in and you don't have to overall overhaul your own home, but maybe start with some little tricks. Why not switch out the throw pillows on your sofa and people will come in at your next party or event and say, wow, you got a new sofa. Right. So try little things. Try little things. Add a new area rug. You know, you can layer rugs over one another. So if you have a very basic colored rug, find one that has a little more color and put that on top. Do small things that can really add big impact to your space. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. You said you could layer rugs over top of one another? Yes. Is this a thing? Yeah. It's it's 2020, <laughs> Bill. That's what happens. <laughs> Mom would go, no, you've already got one. Yeah, Bill, but that's a great way, you know, that if you have a rug, I mean, if you have a bedroom and you don't want to buy an expensive oversized rug, take two scatter rugs and put it on either side of the right. bed. And that's a very inexpensive way cool. to bring a lot of look because people have a challenge of how much rug should stick out outside of the bed. Do two scatter rugs and you can get that at any big box store mm -hmm. and have some fun. Yeah. I learned something already this yeah. morning. Yeah. I'm learning as I we see go. The photos on Instagram later. <laughs> From the house at the river, you've got two yeah, new scatter rugs, right? Yeah, I'll have this. Yeah. yeah, you guys are going to have to come to the house first. <laughs> what are you most excited about spending time, you know, in Richmond with everybody, having the opportunity to share advice and insights? These are already great tips, yeah. so we know you're going to have plenty to yeah. share. We, we love making people's lives better, and that's really when we come to a home show. It's showing people, hey, how you can have some fun. We're not just going to give you a white house with beige interiors <laughs> and the usual boring. We're going to say, hey, have some fun. And you know, it's it's not about spending money. It's about being exp expressive, not expensive. Mm. So even a, even a fun little tip like shop the china that your grandmother left you and you've never used. Use that for your next dinner party. Right. So really practical, fun, common sense kind of things. And, and we love staying after our presentations and working with people. And we're expensive to hire. So take advantage of us <laughs> and we'll give you some really good concrete advice. Yeah, bring yeah. some questions. We'd yeah. love to kind of see what's out there challenging you and what, what you need help with. Yeah. 
Where's the best place to start? You know, you mentioned swapping out some of the pillows and, and folks might even think, wow, you got a whole new sofa or trying the right. scatter rugs. You know, if you're if you're interested in tackling a project, I mean, I guess there are things that need attention first, but maybe where's the best place to start in a space? I would say start, you know, maybe start in the room where you spend the most time. Um, you know, do you hang out in your kitchen constantly, but is your kitchen all white and is it kind of not making you happy? Like, bring in some cool dinnerware that's in a bright color or... Switch out the hardware. Switch out the hardware. On your kitchen your cabinetry. Cabinet. I mean, that's a great way to refresh a space and make a brand new, you know, make a cabinet look like a million bucks or paint the inside of a space. Right. But, you know, don't overlook spaces like foyers or hallways because I think it's all about enjoying the journey, not just the, the end destination. And I think people forget that, you know, when as John said, your home should put a smile on your face. So the minute you walk in that mudroom, or foyer, that might be the most important room because it's your it's your defining moment of entry. Right. So have some fun and, and maybe wallpaper. There are great wallpapers now that are easy up, mm -hmm. easy down, and will not challenge your relationship. Um, and so have some fun. <laughs> we've all we've all had that moment with wallpaper over the years, right? This wallpaper turmoil is a real thing. Yeah, wallpaper. Sure. wallpaper yeah. is super trending right now. Yeah, it, it is, is selling like hotcakes in anthropology, and it's millennials who are buying it because they're using it for rentals, and because it's easy up and easy down, you can use it for a rental property and not have any problems. I'm Jason so excited. I want to stay the whole and day. Jason John are going to be here all weekend oh, long, yes. and they're going to give us ideas like wallpaper and scatter rugs oh, on top yeah. of rugs. Brace yourself, Bill. And, and grandma's china. <laughs> ah! There's more where that came from. We're going, to, we're going to share some information. You can learn more about Madcap Cottage. Meet them on the Fresh Ideas stage. Ooh, I think the waterfall just came yeah, out. That's yeah. exciting. March uh, March 7th, that's tomorrow, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. And then on Sunday from noon until and 3 p.m., two shows then as well. Learn more about these two, Jason and John, at madcapcottage.com. And you can find out more about the Richmond Home and Garden Show, too. We've so got information there. Opened it up at 11 this morning, and we are here live before everybody else snuck in. And we will continue live from the Richmond Home and Garden Show on Virginia this morning on CBS 6 right after a quick break.